time configuration. Down here in this button we have time configuration. This is used to set the length of the animation and the number of frames in our track bar. Let's go up to our frame rate. Uh, we have four different adjustments here. We have NTSC, which is the National Television Standards Committee, and that runs at 30 frames per second. We have PAL, which is the phase alternate line, which is Europe, and that runs at 25 frames per second. We can go to film, which is at 24 rates per second, uh, frames per second, and I can go to custom. Right now I have it set for custom at 20 frames per second, and we'll go lower uh, rates for web and for media uh, animations. Time display, how do we display the time? We can go with strictly just the frame numbers, how many total frames there are, or we can go with our uh, SMPTE, uh, which is uh, the standard for the Society of Motion Picture Technical Engineers. And so we also have the frame ticks and the minute seconds. And so uh, I've chose the SMPTE here. In our playback, uh, we can play it back real time if we turn this on. Only in the active viewport if we have this on. If this is unchecked, it will play back in all of our viewports. And loop, it will constantly loop around and around and around. So I'm going to turn that off so you know it will just play one time. I can set the speed. By default, it's one. I can slow down to half speed or quarter speed, or I could speed it up to twice the speed or four times the speed. My direction is forward. I could have it go backwards if I wanted to, or I could have it ping pong. I could go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I set my animation time. In my animation time, I have a start time. Where does the animation start? And where does it end? That gives me a total length and a frame count. And it tells me also where I'm at on the current time. Now, I could change my time. I could come in here and change it, say, to 20 seconds. If I change this value to 20 seconds, I want to rescale time. So right now it's a 30 second animation and I'm going to 20 seconds. I would have to hit this button and it will recalculate <coughs> everything onto that new timeline. So uh, <coughs> time configuration is primarily used to set our frame rate type and our length of animation uh, and a lot of others is pretty consistent you'll probably keep some of those values for most of your animations probably uh, what you ever get used to but your length will always change and perhaps what frame rates you want uh, depending on what kind of project you're working on whether it's for television for the web etc uh, so uh, once again I hit OK and this time configuration is found down here uh, in the bottom on the status bar.